Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Um, I wanted to do a one week update. A one week update turned into a one and a half week update. I trashed that video all together and then here I am for two weeks. Um, so I'm just going to go over my experiences of using the Surface Duo over the past two weeks. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the screen. Coming from Samsung's beautiful AMOLED displays, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. These screens are very beautiful and bright. Um, I don't think most people would complain about that. Um, as far as the bezels are concerned, while I kind of wish they weren't there, I kind of am glad. There's a lot of times where I'm like, wow, if I didn't have the bezels, I couldn't, you know, hold it like this or do that. So I feel like they should thin them out, but not, you know, completely. Like maybe just half. But yeah, I think the bezels are definitely helpful in using this device. Um, battery life, battery life is fine. I usually get through the day. It depends on how much I use the device during the day. Like for instance, yesterday, by the time six o'clock came around, I still had 72% versus today. I was using my phone pretty heavy this morning, I guess, and by the time lunchtime hit, I was down to 42%. So it just depends on your usage of the device. The keyboard, I love typing on this thing in the different postures. Um, they're all very comfortable to use, which makes a case for this aspect ratio. Um, Cause you have other devices like the LG Velvet and the LG V60, which I think are great devices, but because their screens are more, you know, the conventional phone uh, aspect ratio, they're uh, thinner, but taller. So I really like this screen size and this aspect ratio. So, um, being able to type is more comfortable, being able to get stuff done, using it like a mini laptop, um, and just throw back texting uh, like you are on a regular phone. All of these um, different postures are very comfortable to use the device in. I have no problem with the keyboard. I love the fact that it is highly customizable, the different themes that you get to choose from. You can even uh, change the long press duration and things like that. There's so much if you are a person that likes having the number row at the top of the keyboard like myself you can have it if you don't it doesn't have to be there so i really enjoy the keyboard a lot of people are complaining about the haptic feedback um normally when i get a device when i get a phone the first thing to go is the haptic feedback on the keyboard but this one i don't mind it and i've kept it on the device i have no issues with it i'm not quite sure why what makes the difference um of using haptic feedback on this versus the previous phones I've had, but I do enjoy it. Um, so with the camera, I did install a app called Airbrush to kind of help my photos be more Samsung-esque <laughs> in, um, some, in, in some instances. Now I know not everybody cares about the camera, but if you are a person who likes to take selfies, um, and the camera may or may not be a sore point for you, looking into an uh, extra camera app isn't a bad idea, um, especially if that's one of the biggest things holding you back from this device. So I have enjoyed my pictures uh, from using the uh, extra app that I downloaded. I believe it was called Airbrush. So I have Samsung devices. I have the Galaxy Buds and I have my watch. Uh, they both connect to this device fine. Uh, the watch occasionally, when I walk away too far and then walk back to my phone, sometimes it has an issue reconnecting. If it does, I usually go into settings and find the Samsung plugin and force close or force stop. Um, force stop the app and then usually it resets and <clears throat> it does what it's supposed to do and connects fine. The speaker, um, when I was watching Jay Williams' video, he said that he thinks it would be better if there were two speakers, and he's probably right, because um, the speaker isn't that bad. When you're watching people, when you're watching videos or just listening to people talk, it's not bad. Now, if you want to listen to music, I think it's best to use headphones, but most people would do that anyway, reach for their headphones when they want to listen to music. Um, but the speaker's not that bad. Um, there have been many cases where I've had the phone open in full screen mode and have it because of the bumper case it being so grippy and then the phone being so light it's really easy to like um balance balance the phone on anything um so minus the gap it's a it's a really good um wa uh, watching <laughs> experience um so yeah the speaker isn't bad 
again, if you're going to listen to music, just get your headphones. That's the uh, biggest thing with that. Uh, the apps that have been optimized for this device are great. Uh, for instance, Microsoft News. I really like the way they uh, customized that app to work uh, with the device. So being able to span the news app across both screens and also utilizing book mode for a simpler viewing experience, I think both of those are really great. Um, and all the other apps that they've used to, to um, customize this. The glance and the news on this side of the screen, you can't really see too well. But um, yeah, those are really helpful as well, uh, being able to being able to put notes and um, being able to access recent recently used apps and documents is really um, helpful as well. So one trick that I learned, if you ever need to reset your device, if it's ever unresponsive for some reason, you just long press the power button. That's just for anybody if they haven't figured that out yet or haven't had that issue yet. That's how you would do it because I know it's, usually, it's different on other phones. For instance, on my Note, if I wanted to reset my device, I'd hold down both buttons for the volume rocker and the power button for it to reset. So for the Samsung... <laughs> For the Surface Duo, you just long press the power button until it resets and you're fine. So I'm going to do more videos. I need to do videos on the inking experience and using OneNote and comparing it to Samsung Notes. Uh, all those things are to come as well as things that I want to see on the next iteration on the Duo 2. So stay tuned for that. I thank you so much for all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to definitely continue to try to put out great content, more hands-on videos, because uh, I know that's what people want. It's just I've been super busy lately, but I'm definitely going to get around to it. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, if you are new, please subscribe. I have more content to come. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. Just a couple more things I wanted to add. One, yes, the device is still buggy, and there's times where I have to um, close it and open it again um, and start it again. Um, but again, it doesn't render the device useless. I still enjoy using this device. I enjoy using it more than I am annoyed by it. I'll say that. So I had an issue where when I closed my phone, the screen would stay on. Uh, I would have to hit, make sure I hit the power button if I wanted the screen to go off. For uh, that problem resolved on its own. Someone had given me a suggestion on how to uh, on how to stop that from happening and I really appreciate it but I'm really glad that it just resolved itself on its own so now when I close it the screen turns off and I don't have to push the power button so I'm really happy about that. And also just one thing I wanted to throw in, um, the other day I was watching TV on one screen and then I was on YouTube reading you guys' comments on the other screen and I was like, this device is awesome. This is what it's for. Um, not even just that, but other app combinations as well. I don't have a ton of app combinations because I'm still trying to get used to the idea of, you know, using two screens. How do I want to utilize that? What do I want on, you know, what do I want to use together? So I'm still, you know, working on that. So I'll definitely um, add more insight on that as time goes on. So.